Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let me get into some questions with the time that we do have here. I'm going to ask everyone to smash those thumbs ups. Let me get, actually, here's what I want to do, because we, we'll, we'll try to do this rapid, Vince. I'll get your opinion, Walters, mine. So the Biden, uh, Biden gun control plan, right, that he announced, uh, he called for Congress to pass legislation. Uh, so my, my question is on the legislation he's call, uh, calling for Congress to pass, what laws can Congress pass to stop violence that they haven't already passed? Zero. They can't yeah, pass any law to prevent okay. violence. violence. That's an is easy a moral, one. We agree. We agree. Violence on that. is, a is This, mo- this a is going to be a special symbol right now. <laughs> that's violence is a morality issue, and you can't you can't make people moral. So but. yeah. Go ahead, Vince. <clears throat> no, that was it. Yeah. Zero. Mm-hmm. Zero. Zero. Knock their bitch in the dirt. If you're <laughs> out there, if you're out there creating violence among mm-hmm. my community. And I don't care if my community is Oakland, California, uh, Chicago, um, Tennessee, where I live. Knock their d- in the dirt. Amen, brother. I'm with that. Zero quarter and leave the rest of the people alone. Yep. Uh, I'm with that one. Let's move on from that one. Okay, ghost guns. The Justice Department, within 30 days, will issue a proposal to uh, propose rule to help stop the proliferation of ghost guns. <laughs> what proliferation? <laughs> 36 years, I never saw one ghost gun. What proliferation? You're you're gonna give me a heart attack. You're gonna no, make I don't want that. <laughs> no, to go easy, Vince. Go easy. But listen, don't the people have the right to make their own firearms? Haven't the people been doing that? Don't the people have the right no, to make? Not without a license. No, they do not. Y- yes, yes, they, they do. do. They do. No, they, they don't. Yes, yes, they do. They, you can make. Oh, you can make ben, your own. Ben, you ben, can't ben, manufacture ben. it okay. to sell. To sell. Go, to the, the, go to the gun control of 1968. No, and there are you're wrong. which. You wrong. can manufacture fire. <laughs> it's not true. You have the right to. You have the you're right wrong, to ben. to, wrong. to wrong. make you're and wrong. assemble your own. As long firearms. as you're not making it to sell it. Yeah, and for your own personal exactly. use. Exactly. But if you're yeah, making... we're not talking about. We're not talking. No, Vince. Okay, so just to clarify with you, we're not, we're not talking, talking about, about making it to sell it to people. We're talking about making it for yourself. Maybe your maybe that wasn't clear. There's no law against that. Okay, that's okay. So then we're in agreement on that. Yes. Okay. You yes. Can make, okay. If you want to buy a hunk of metal and make a gun, knock yourself out. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're in agreement. So that was me framing that wrong. Then I'll take the well, blame. Well, then for that don't one. frame it wrong. <laughs> I'll take. I'll take the bra- I'll take the blame. I'll take it. Okay. Stable Walter. Did you want to talk on that the ghost guns before I go on? <laughs> yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. You're, you're, I'll, I'll say one thing. Okay. You're never gonna stop. You never, second, sort of the second oldest profession in America is making firearms. First one's prostitution. Second's mm-hmm. making guns. So you're never going to stop it. And both of them. You're not going to stop either. Human one beings have the right to have claws and teeth and defend themselves and make guns they for wanna themselves. Get, they want to get laid and they want to shoot guns. Boom. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. Uh, and drink right, whiskey. There you whisk. go. Drink whiskey. That's yeah, probably the other that, one. that's a, that's probably the second and third yeah. one right there. Yeah. Booze. If yeah. if uh, center it a little bit more, Vince. Hold on. Let me show. It. Yeah. There you go awesome yeah check out this book i really think it's a really good book Uh, i'm not just saying that um when i listened to that book i was like i gotta meet meet this dude and and we met him and he's been coming back here on the show and i think he's a stand-up guy for even coming on here and like you know hanging out with us and, and being very honest and frank and all that kind of stuff so let's go to stabilizing pistol brace the justice department within 60 days will issue a proposal Proposed rule, excuse me, to make clear when a device marketed as a stabilizing brace effectively turns a pistol into a short-barreled rifle subject to the requirements of the National Firearms Act. So the marketing... (laughs) What the hell is happening here? This is crazy. This is crazy. All of a sudden, this thing that they said was not, you know, was totally fine. I don't even know what you're saying. I don't even know what to say about that. They put it on the Federal Register, public comment, 
advised ATF. They were way out of line on that. They rescinded it. And then Biden gets elected and like, oh, my Department of Justice is going to re-re-re-re-re-review this. Yeah. It's um here here's one thing that I, I would say that these have the right to exist, right? We went through all of this before, we dealt with this thing, they have the right to be here, and to turn around now and turn this piece of plastic is just as bad as them turning a piece of plastic, the bump stock, into a machine gun. Yeah, okay, it's just true. as bad as that, as far as I'm concerned, if not worse. And if we allow that, th then they can make anything. They can make the pistol grip, anything that they want to into an FA item. Go ahead, Walt. Once again, the government and their the, the trust that people have, the uh, bump stocks were approved three times by ATF. Three different things on bump stocks. Now they flip on it. Okay, so you don't trust the government no more. Uh, uh, pistol braces. They've had numerous rulings on them. As long as you use it as a brace, you don't you don't modify it from its original purpose. What about all those people that really need it, like that you know the Americans uh, Disability Act stuff? Absolutely. I never hear yeah. that brought. I never hear that brought up. Try the veterans that went break. that went overseas and lost limbs, and nope. now they can't come back to America, defend nope. themselves, shoot. No, nope. you don't even care about that. I don't even care about that. ATF, here's our request. You made a ruling. Game over. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. More than yeah. once. More than once. Yes. Okay, let's go to red flag laws. The Justice Department, uh -huh. within 60 days, will publish model, quote-unquote, red flag legislation for states. Uh, funny they call it red flag. What are the, uh, the Russian old flag was red, too, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, um, my, my, here's my don't, don't, like, like, like Vince said, don't we have enough laws already? That's exactly can, what I was going to say. Vince already can, said this. We have laws that these guys don't use. Why are we creating specific laws that take away due process from, from Americans? Right. right. Speaking, yeah. Where you can just like these no knock raids and all this stuff where you don't need a warrant to raid. You don't need yeah. a warrant. Well, that guy, that guy's got a gun. Let's go get him. You know, it's like one thing that's going to happen is some of these police are going to get shot. It's incredibly, yeah, it's incredibly right, dangerous. Right, well, already right, there's citizens right, that have died in this process. Red right, flag yeah. laws are entirely too ambiguous. Okay, <laughs> so my now son, they want to nationalize it for the whole country. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead, Vince. So my son or daughter at 13 years old or 15 years old said, "I want to kill myself. I hate myself," which all my sons and daughters said at some point or another. But it got documented somewhere. And now they're 23 years old getting married and their husband wants a gun. And somebody goes, ah, ah, she said when she was 15 years old, she wants to kill herself or if I can end her life or do whatever. I'm like, nope. Yeah. Don't get it. No, it's um, it's basically I, in my opinion, it amounts to pre-crime, and um, that's unconstitutional. Uh, and 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 once again, I mean, you know, can I, if he wants to nationalize red flag laws, his freaking son should not have secret <laughs> service around him, should not be allowed go. to have any weapons. Have um, well, you know what? Besides... You might find this a little bit funny. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not that it would happen, but in anticipation, because I pissed ATF off and I oh. called their baby ugly. You know what I told my wife? If any feds ever come to our door and knock on the door and say, hey, we just like talk to you. Oh. You know what I told her? Shut the door. Say I have nothing to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, amen. Everyone should take that advice that Vince just yeah, gave you. they really okay. should because right now the government is not looking out for our c communal best interest. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. saw some video, and I have to dig into it. I have to admit this to you guys. It's a little bit of a sidetrack. I just saw some video. I think John Crump uh, sh shared it, but I know it's in other places, where these cops went after some kids in the street riding bicycles. And, and confiscated the bikes and all that kind of stuff just because the kids were outside riding bicycles. So, you know, it's it's stuff that's coming out there, so I don't want to get super deep into it. But we have a pro And let me tell you, it wasn't like one or two cops. It was like five to seven rolled up on some kids 
on bicycles because they were out in the streets riding bicycles. I this have no true. idea what you're talking yeah. about. I mean, I, 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 yeah. I, I... Yeah, I'm just telling you, this crazy lockdown that we're in, and besides which, another thing that oh. that brings up for me, another thing that that brings up is something that I was uh, talking to, to Walter and Patrick about earlier today. Like, there's a report. Let me see if I can uh, run this in from the Wall Street Journal. There's a report where they're saying because of the COVID-19 lockdowns, there's, uh, here we go. Hold, hold on. Let me see if I can put this up here. So COVID-19 slash carbon emissions, now they're climbing again. The International uh, the international Energy Agency expects a 4.8% rise this year, the biggest annual gain since 2010, and is saying soar, soaring carbon emissions this year are on track to reverse a big chunk of last year's sharp reduction um, with some climate research. Basically, it's going on to say here Hank, that because we're coming out of the lockdowns, we're destroying the planet. What's up? Hank, 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 anybody been watching the news lately? There's about five or six volcanoes going off all at the same time all over the world. Um, <laughs> these so-called scientists, <laughs> these so-called scientists. So <laughs> at one time that you can't even measure the amount of shit. Listen to me. Out. These so-called scientists that say that wearing masks are going to keep us from getting uh, a microscopic, <laughs> inf uh, like, uh, infection, right? From little tiny little microbes. These those same scientists say that those volcanoes aren't putting off as much emissions as as what cars and stuff like that are. But here's my thing there's behind no my thing behind this. The reason why this lockdown has overrun and gone over a year is because these people feel like this is how they can control us and somehow That's save more. the planet. It's, of no, it's not about. It's power. But why are yeah. we why are we spending one second talking about it? It ain't gonna happen. It ain't happening. AOC can kiss my the country's not the world's not gonna die in twelve years. Just stop. Just yeah. stop. I thought I was here to talk about gun. Now we're talking about yeah. the no, new no, we'll deal. Kill him, man. <laughs> Vince, when they were they were showing this at St. Vincent Island, the volcanoes going off and people, there's lava going all over the place, and they're worried about people wearing a mask to get on the cruise ship to evacuate. It's like, yeah. okay, there's a volcano over here, and I'm worried yeah. about getting or people having uh, the, the, you having a, co a COVID vaccine uh, passport. Yeah, your card, to get on your there. papers, your papers. Okay, yeah. so here's the final thing I want to get into before we wrap up or whatever here. Um, so the, the, they said that the Justice Department will issue an annual report on firearms tracking, which I, I discussed this um, earlier. Um, wh what the hell is, what's that all about? This It's going to be, it's going to be embellished. It's going to be under the new attorney general's vision of what firearms trafficking is. Not one person is going... You know what? Um, we got Chicago happening. We got New York happening. We got Minneapolis happening. We got South LA happening. They're going to say, aha, uh -huh, guns are going across the border and guns are being handed out nationwide and blah, blah, blah. And mm -hmm. Who was that? That wasn't my kid. That, oh, that's one of your babies. Say right. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> is that is that the wife? <laughs> I I believe they probably already have um, every year like all the statistics they compile about violent death and this that and the mm -hmm. other. They have all this. They do this every year. It's not something new they're going to start doing. Um, but you know, it's interesting when they start compiling these. They say about homicides. You know what they call a homicide when somebody does this? That's a homicide. When somebody mm -hmm. accident when the gang violence goes on. That's a homicide, but they, they glump it all into one big thing so they can build their numbers big and, 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 and nice and, and impressive. So yeah. I don't I would be I would be suspect of any report that comes out from the federal government regarding firearms trafficking. If you remember after Fast and Furious, the Department of Justice said we are ceasing all multiple sales of firearms along the four border oh, the states. Border. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, not anywhere else in the country, just the borders. Oh, you mean because you were letting guns go across there? <laughs> now you have the stats to support your 
vision of guns going to Mexico. Yeah. So you're so my so my question to you, like I know that's bullshit. And I think you, I think we all agree on that. You know, this is something that basically is your ballpark, right? Where do you think right. this? Where do you think the real problem is coming from? And where do you think the the real trafficking is? Where do you think this is really happening outside of like you know what happened with ATF? Um, if I had to say, I would say it was the dehumanizing of America, the lack of family values, um, like so much in our schools, our children's upbringing, um, fatherless families. Um, I mean, it's not any one thing, but I don't think you can legislate your way out of it. We have to pull together as a country and say, for example, for example, <clears throat> so they're all grouped up in Minneapolis tonight over the Chauvin uh, trial and blah, blah, blah. Why aren't they walking through the streets of South Chicago demanding you're killing our babies, you're killing our families, you're you're disrupting our communities with your violence. Why aren't they up there like 10,000 strong? Mm -hmm. I agree with there's you. No I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> there's, no, there's no money in that. Then. Well, because yeah, if you do, that, if you do that, that if you do that, that the what? black lives, the black lives matter chick is not going to be able to buy a couple of houses in Hollywood. There's that's no money the in point. You know, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, whoever, they're not going to South Chicago, Benjamin Crump, he ain't going to South Chicago because they got no money. Yeah. They also don't and, really and want to fix the problem. The worst part of this is they are not, people in America are just using this as a political football. They're not interested in actually fixing this problem. Okay. There's a, there's a for real problem here and there's things that we can do about it and ways that we could go back against it. And I think one of the biggest ways is people in these communities need to be able to police their own oh. communities. You can't hire enough yeah. cops and do all that kind of stuff. People, people need to learn how to save themselves and can save themselves. Go ahead. Go ahead. Walter. As 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 was stated, there's a there's the breakdown of the family, mm -hmm. and a gun's not going to fix that. No. There's there's the there's the there's the the leaders and what these people and these communities see on television and the videos and the people they think are God, you know, shaking their ass in the street and doing all that stuff. That's why you have what you have. There's there's no there's no there's nobody saying hey that's not maybe not the way you want to act in public mm -hmm. you know maybe you not want to do that mm -hmm. but oh that's that's the accepted way now so you know yeah. how can I, I i can't tell that person the way to act that's not my job you know yeah we're being completely uh broken down but here's my here's my my thing i think you know as we're winding down here why why like why do you break a person down right why is this happening? Like we're, I'm talking about a person, but it's happening on a on a big on a on a mass level, right? On a macro level in America. Why are they taking Americans and breaking us down and bending us? Oh, Mar okay. Shout out to Marlboro for for, <laughs> for keeping Vince going there. Why are they doing that to us? It's like a pimp or a drug dealer. Why do you want to destroy? Why do you want to take everything away from a person? Why do you want to make them bend over backwards so that you could enslave them? Well, I think the problem is you have, we got 50 states. And so you got your Iowans and your Tennesseans, me, mm -hmm. and you got your Arkansas folks going, that shit ain't affecting yeah, me. Yeah, your Arkansanians. Whatever. I'm making that up. Making it up. Uh -huh. It's like, that's not affecting me today. As much as I hate it, because every day, every day, I go on there and look at how many people have been shot in Chicago, and it literally breaks my heart. Literally, the the little like, girl that got killed because I think they went after uh, her dad. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that. It, in, until those people in mm. those neighborhoods and take take charge and get rid of those politicians that allow it to happen, it's not going to change. Well, yeah, they got to uh, work. I can't. I. I can't fix that. You can't fix that, Vince. Where's it? Where's every, but everyone can, 
Because if we can fix it, we can fix it. Of course they do. Mm -hmm. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Listen, when I say we can fix it, the people of those communities can fix it. Yes, it does start by getting rid of those politicians. It starts by taking responsibility for your neighborhoods and the safety of your family, your children, and your property. Take responsibility for it. You know what would happen? Do you do you know what would happen? And I live in a little rural community in Tennessee, but if some flared up here and there were drive bys and a little girl got killed and whatever. Do you know how quick I'd be in the middle of that, patrolling the streets, offering my assistance, giving money, protesting, getting in the sheriff's face, getting in the black community's face or the brown community's face or whoever was doing the the harm? I'd be all over that. In Chicago, it's like, that's just another weekend. Another day, another day. Because it's a money business. There's a money. There's a money thing behind it, and it and and the people are suffering. The people who are losing their family members, they're the ones suffering. You know, um, yeah, the gang members are the gang Benjamin members are signing Trump? up for the for this life, huh? Why isn't Benjamin Crump or uh, Al Sharpton or Joe Ooh. Biden or any white politician or black politician in Chicago right now saying this ends now? Because it's now. too painful. It's too painful to face that fact. But we can't fix what, ourselves what, what unless have, we can face those do, kinds of facts. Yeah. You have to also realize who's doing what, and 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 it's not easy to do when you have to blame your own. But everyone. For what's but going but on. this is what it is. There's white communities. There's poor white communities out there that there's crime. And guess what? It's some it's some white people out there creating it. Right? There's 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 poor Latino, poor Asian, poor this, poor that. Communities, Again, right? You have to you have to call these people out and take and and, and do the business, and this needs to be done. And people aren't willing to no. do the business. You right. have to say no. The worst thing that ever happened was when the Seattle police precinct surrendered, and it's when retreated. it's because the pe and the people let that happen. You have to correct the people. The let it happen. Um. And that's the that's the thing, you know. The people should have never let that happen there, and people around the country should not let that happen. But I think in smaller places where you have sheriffs, and the sheriffs have the ability, you know, the sheriff departments like my my sheriff department is a small department uh, in a big massive um, area, but they have the ability to deputize people, right? And they and and right. they know people who are who are living in the community, like you said, for different reasons that they're able to go to to lean on to deputize and to do that kind of stuff and we need to just take responsibility for this and really fix it instead of doing all we this nonsense we're talking arms. about we need to lock arms and say enough mm -hmm. we just need to say enough yeah there's enough that we agree on that we but don't need to be figuring out what we don't agree on we just need to lock arms and say this stops now yeah, the and violent, we, don't, we don't need laws. <laughs> the, the division stops now, and we can end it. Yeah, we don't need any new laws to do it. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.